Last week, you saw the new Frey prototype. But there was one thing missing from that video. How does it compare to a true optical vibe? Let's find out. So in front of me today, I have Soul, uh, which is a true optical vibe, and of course Frey. So I thought we'd compare and contrast them. But before we do that, uh, I just wanted to say thank you so much for the uh, uh, wonderful, warm welcome you've given to Frey. Uh, it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun. So feel free to send me any questions. I'll try to answer anything and everything. And uh, yeah, let's hear them. So these two are not completely identical okay that's just how it is uh i don't think i like one more than the other uh, but they are different so let's let's find out <laughs> So yeah, let's discuss the um, the sound first. So the Frey seems to have a bit more um, thickness, fullness in the low end, whereas uh, the the old optical vibe seems to be a little weaker in the low end, uh, but also feels kind of high fee in some ways, which is good. So I think both are valid. It's a, uh, a question of preference, really. <laughs> As for the speeds, uh, these are sitting at a, about the same rate. Uh, but different settings. That has to do with the fact that I um, screwed the knob on uh, a bit crooked <laughs> on the fire. Um, and also, the ranges aren't quite exactly the same between the two due to taper differences inside of the potentiometer. Um, a much bigger difference is this is set to full depth and this is set to almost full depth. That has to do with the fact that I, I gave Sul uh, as a circuit more depth than you should. And I did that on purpose in order to make it like be this super chaotic, heavy, frenzied thing uh, at full tilt. Um, and I didn't do that to fly because it's not really useful or necessary. Uh, also, the range of the depth control on this specific prototype is somewhat limited due to the fact that I'm using the wrong taper. Now, the ones that you'll get uh, for the production units will have the correct taper, and so you'll have a much more gradual slope from, um, from uh, all the way off to all the way on, and uh, so keep that in mind. But yeah. <laughs> This is what it sounds like at full tilt. So it's it's pretty similar. It becomes more noticeable once you put the fuzz in. Um, but uh, yeah. Let's hear them go quick. Let's go quick. I mean, they're remarkably similar. Uh, there are some differences to how the LFO works. 
uh, for the soul, it feels like it's spending a long time in the uh, uh, sort of heavy, low, mid bass region, and then they, the the signal sort of blips up into the um, into the treble, and then it falls back down rather quickly. Um, whereas for Frey, it feels like the slope up towards the top is more gradual, and then it falls off a bit quicker than it r rose. And uh, I think both are valid, and uh, th they both sound good, but they're definitely different, right? So <laughs> And this difference also influences how the phasing feels, because an abrupt phasing, same as on your wah, if you do that quickly, it, you, you feel like there's more happening, because the stuff is moving against the dry signal in a quicker manner. <laughs> But at lower settings, I, I kind of tend to like the OTA version more. Especially when we hit it with a fuss. that I like to do with um, univibes is I like to use them as kind of EQ pedals or like treble boosts or mid boosts uh, but instead of having a fixed uh, mid emphasis or treble emphasis um, that emphasis is moving around all the time and that seems to work even better with the fray. <laughs> satisfied with uh, <laughs> how this turned out uh, I you know I felt like the, when I got the prototype in I, I just I, I almost couldn't believe it I've been working for like one year uh, on the new Frey and the new uh, Midnight Soul which some of you have gotten um, and and then suddenly I couldn't use the LDRs and I had to figure this out and then I did and <laughs> it's um, it's it's a beautiful thing. Thank you so much. Now, I've added links below to all the shops who have uh, opened up pre-orders for this device. And um, my suggestion is going through them. If they sell them out, they'll tell them, tell me I need 10 more. And so, you know, I'll sell 10 more. And that's beautiful. I love when that happens. And also, you'll get it quicker. They'll have to handle all the sort of import duty fees and all of that stuff. And so you don't have to do that. So do that. If they don't have them, 
uh, let me know or let them know and uh, we'll sort it out and uh, so yeah thank you so much um, I think next video is going to be on something completely different but we'll see Thank you.